Hi guys, so behind me, as you can see, I have a chicken house. This chicken house measures about 200 meters in length. I mean, that's really crazy. 200 meters in length, 15 meters in width, and you're thinking to yourself, why the hell would you build such a chicken house? Also, isn't it so crazy expensive to build such a chicken house? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how and why anyone would build a chicken house like this and how you can actually achieve it to do something like this, build a chicken house this wide, this cool, without spending a fortune. So stick around right through to the very end. First, let's move into the chicken house right here. So we have an improvised door. You can see our door. I think it has a plastic handle. But there's no problem with it. I mean, it works perfectly. And uh, it has tarpaulin on the outside. But as you can see, it has mesh on the inside. It has mesh on the inside. So let's move in. And I want to tell you guys about how this chicken house and this flower was actually built. So it's a crazy story, a really crazy story about how we first built this chicken house. When we built this chicken house at first, we built it when we had just started the breeder farm to accommodate our layers. So when we started out, we produced awesome layers, farm up chicks, very, very good chicks. Right now we can prove it. And when we started out, I mean, no one can prove that you produce really good chicks. No one can believe you. And people don't just take your word just as your word. The other thing is that me personally, my experience from visiting farmers is that most farmers have no idea what they are doing. Most farmers raise chicken, but completely the wrong way. I mean, the chickens get sick, die, they don't know how to feed them, they don't know how to vaccinate them. And I personally have visited a lot of farmers for me to understand that a lot of the problems farmers face are not because of the supply of the dead old chicks. It's not about the source, but a lot of times it's about the management. Now, I needed to understand and be certain that when farmers buy chicks from farmer up, their chicks will be really good. So what did we do? When we started hatching chickens, the very first batches of chickens, we decided to raise them on our farm, on our very own farm. So what we decided to do was to build a chicken house. So at that time, the most important thing for us to do was to have the chickens on the farm. And uh, the biggest limitation was a chicken house. I mean, we needed to raise the chickens ourselves to confirm and be the testimony of how well the birds can perform. You know, it was my very first time doing a breeder farm. I'd never done a breeder farm before, and I didn't know what to expect from these chickens. So what we decided to do was to build a chicken house really, really quickly, so that then we can test this batch of birds. I mean, from the way they are brooded, from the way they are raised, from the way they develop, and try to see how they perform at the very end. The idea is that when farmers come to me and complain and they tell me this is what's happening with your birds, I would have a reference point because I know I'm going to be raising the birds very well. So I did this very well and the reason we built this chicken house big like this is because it needed to look after 20,000 chickens. I mean 20,000 commercial layers. Commercial layers are spaced at a space of about 6 birds per square meter and this chicken house over here, like I've already told you, is about 200 meters by 15 meters. So if you calculate six birds per square meter, ideally it is sufficient enough to keep about 20,000 birds, yeah? To keep them inside here. So we needed to build it, but we needed to build it really fast. And of course, if you need to build things really fast, number one, the biggest thing is time. You don't have time, for example, to build using blocks like this. You know, we could have built using blocks like this, but you don't have the time. Secondly, the costs, you know, at that time you're just starting a breeder farm and uh, you don't have the money to construct an expensive house. Blocks or bricks like this are not cheap. They're quite expensive if you're going to get enough to build a chicken house. So what we needed to do at that point is simply to make sure that we have enough for us to actually raise the chickens or build a chicken house that can ensure that we raise chickens inside there so that then it becomes profitable enough for us to go on and do whatever we want. So what we did is that we raised our 20,000 chickens and those chickens were giving us a lot of eggs. I mean, a lot and a lot of eggs. We were getting over 800 trays of eggs a day. But not only that, I was able to confirm my suspicions or to confirm my test, my experiment of the birds. I knew that the birds are really good birds, they're not sickly, they put on the weight properly, they perform properly. So now I could start selling them to my client with the utmost level of confidence, knowing that if someone is going to raise these birds and they raise them well, they understand what they're doing, the birds are going to really perform. So when I tell you something crazy is that when you said this chicken house, first of all, it wasn't this high. It was much lower than this. I think it was about six feet maximum in height. But secondly, uh, we, we built it using completely poles on the side and everything. I mean, here you can see blocks. But number three, we didn't even put a concrete floor. You can see on the bottom, we have a concrete floor right here. Now at that time, we didn't have the time to put a concrete floor and also we didn't have the funds. The money had to be 
put in the places where it's going to bring us the most money, in the breeder birds and things like that. So we put up the structure really, really quickly. We've just put compacted maram at the bottom, you know, really compacted it really, really well. And then put a very thick layer of litter on the maram. The chicken house was as raised. And we brought the birds in. And guys, I can tell you the truth, the birds actually grew up very well. They got raised very well. So what am I getting to? What I'm trying to get to is that if you want to build a huge chicken house very cheaply and you want the chicken house to be good and meet the standard you don't need to start out with the most expensive house and i mean this is something i've always shared with people on the youtube channel you don't need to start out with the most expensive house you don't need to start out with the biggest house you don't need to start out with the house with the biggest materials yeah you just need to start out with something that works what is something that works in terms of chickens you need a chicken house that's aerated a chicken house where there's air there you know as you can see right here on the side for us when we started we had just poles but needed to make sure that there was air, the floor wasn't concreted, but for one batch of birds, honestly, we could use compacted maram, we compacted the maram, and that ensured that for the very first batch of the birds, the birds could be inside there, but then we could get the money at the beginning to enable us to upgrade the house. So now when you look around on the chicken house, everything looks nice. You can look at the side, the aeration, you can look at the feeders, you know, really nice feeders, good drinkers right here. You can look at the floor, it's nicely concreted, it's a good concrete floor, the roof is high enough, but you don't need to start out that way. I mean, look at this. You can start out with feeders like this. Now, this can still be utilized as supplemental feeders. But if you're starting out and you can't afford feeders that look like this, this kind of feeders, you can start with feeders like this. Now, of course, it will be less profitable for you because you're going to have a lot of wastage in terms of feed. But you can start with stuff like this. I mean, I started with stuff like this, yeah? This is simply an inspiration. You can start with stuff like this. You don't need to start with a concrete floor. You can start with compacted maram. If it's nicely compacted, you put a thick layer of litter on the top. But the most important thing is you should not remain there. I've seen a lot of farmers who start out that way and then they just get comfortable and remain in that state you know they'll just remain in that state of the chicken house they're like ah well this is good enough they don't want to get better they don't want to get the chicken houses better when they get in money they don't want to put money back into the business they don't want to put money back into the farm if you do that and you consistently do that the only thing you're going to ensure is that you're in a race to the rock bottom yeah in a race to the bottom so you don't want to do that you want to make sure that you maintain the chicken structures you build them when you get money you put it back into the farm for me, when i said getting money i put it back into the farm started concreting the floor started building the pillar and as you can see in the middle we still have some of these posts but with time we're going to you know expand them this one right here as you can see is simply you know to help support some of these poles that are running on the side and as you can see from down it's now concreted but with time as we get in more money we'll again even you know change these put uh, you know maybe concrete posts or block over here to make sure that it's supported the main thing is the sides which are properly supported but with time we'll even ensure that we improve this with time so the most important thing is start wherever you are but make sure that you always improve what you're doing you know make sure you improve when you get money in don't just utilize the money and not utilize it to make the farm better make sure you improve don't stuck with wherever you are but don't be like those people who are like well i don't have the amount of money to build a chicken house that is about 100 meters or 200 meters in length i mean for me at the beginning it was 100 meters in length but it was really cheap i mean because the only thing i was using is posts of course the most important thing or the most expensive thing was the roof at the very top but everything else was quite cheap honestly everything else was really really cheap it wasn't expensive at all i mean i didn't need to put a concrete floor i didn't need to buy cement i didn't need to buy bricks the only thing i needed was nails posts and a roof and everything else I could work on. I mean, put mesh on the side. I think at the bottom I'd put iron sheeting on the side. And that was enough for me to start out. And then with time, I could get money and put it back into the business. So that's the prototype I've utilized. It's a prototype I've found that actually works really well. And if you also utilize it on your farm, I mean, you can do stuff like this, really, really huge stuff. And people will be looking at you and they're like, whoa, how did you get there? It's simply because you utilize money from the farm to actually expand the farm, yeah? You don't need to utilize your very own money that you're saving uh, to build the thing to the perfect level start with wherever you are to utilize the money to start the thing that you need on the farm are chickens because chickens are to bring you money on the farm the structure doesn't bring money on the farm it's the chickens that bring money on the farm so utilize it bring money in and once you have money coming in then everything else becomes quite easy quite simple you can expand and do everything you want i mean that's how you build really huge farms and huge houses yeah it's difficult to just build it using your savings tell me what you think if you actually think this is a good idea if you build chicken houses tell me the theory that you've 
actually use? I mean, for you, how have you managed to get big? Was it from your savings? Was it from reinvesting into the farm yourself? I mean, is your farm even profitable? I'm actually curious to find that out in the comment section below. If your farm is not profitable, you're running a farm and your farm is not profitable, I would love to make a video about that. But only if I actually find out that a lot of people are running farms that are not profitable. So I would love to find out that. Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Catch you very soon with another video. Lots of love. Bye-bye.